On December 17, 1903, Orville and Wilbur Wright made the first controlled, powered, and sustained heavier-than-air human flight. Just over six years later, a quarter of a million people, half the population of Los Angeles, flocked to the 1910 Dominguez Air Meet. The wealthy arrived in automobiles, and many used the Southern Pacific steam trains using a special routing just for the Air Meet. Some arrived on horseback, and for many, it would be the very first time they had ever seen an aircraft. The meet was billed as the first international air show competition in America. It was second in the world. There were $80,000 in prizes. With those kinds of stakes, no one was going to miss it. It was a 10-day event, and each day, people from Los Angeles and beyond bought tickets and crowded the grandstands. Famous aviators from all over the world became front page news. Audiences were enthralled by the large variety of flying machines. In addition to aircraft built by Curtis and Farman, other famous aviation pioneers had created a variety of wing configurations with designs that included single, bi-wing, which were by far the most popular, tri-wing, and even a five-winged aircraft built by Los Angeles resident Professor J.S. Zerb of Polytechnic High School, which unfortunately toppled over like a stack of pancakes before getting airborne. Aside from fixed-winged aircraft, the competitions included balloons and dirigibles. French pilot Louis Pauhan was the star of the show winning more prizes and breaking more records than any of the other competitors. He brought with him to the meet two monoplanes, two biplanes, his wife, and their black poodle. Important industry pioneers attended the show as audience members, including Jimmy Doolittle, a mere teenager at the time, William Boeing, who later formed Boeing Aircraft Company, and Glenn L. Martin, whose company later merged to become Lockheed Martin. The meet helped inspire them to embrace aviation, giving the budding aviation industry a jumpstart, which propelled it into mainstream acceptance. Now, 100 years later, Southern California is still the aerospace capital of the world. To celebrate the centennial of the historic 1910 International Dominguez Air Meet, educators, museums, aviation clubs, and veterans groups across the region are coming together. The effort is being led by California State University Dominguez Hills and the Dominguez Rancho Adobe Museum, which are both located near the site of the original meet. Projects and events under consideration include a documentary film, an accompanying book, a 1910 themed costume ball, an air show, and a speakers bureau. Also planned is a traveling exhibition intended for schools and museums which will highlight the 1910 International Air Meet and its impact on Southern California. The Rancho Adobe Museum will be holding an Aviation Day aimed at making children as excited about aviation as their great-grandparents were a hundred years ago. The event will include rides in tethered balloons and a static display of planes and antique cars including an 18-foot model of the Goodyear blimp, and the opportunity to pilot state-of-the-art flight simulators. Participants on the steering committee for the celebration include California State University Dominguez Hills, the Dominguez Rancho Adobe Museum, Southern California Historic Aviation Foundation, Flight Path Learning Center Museum, Southern California Aeronautic Association, the Western Museum of Flight, Wings Over Long Beach, and the Air Force Association. Our goals in promoting a positive, uplifting celebration of the 100th anniversary of one of America's most memorable aviation events are 
to ignite a sense of excitement in today's youth who are denied the easy access their elders had to airplanes, aircraft, and aviators. To show the world the magnitude of Southern California's century-long romance with aviation and aerospace. To offer citizens opportunities to join and support their neighbors as we celebrate the wonder of flight. To showcase existing innovation in the aerospace industry and inspire a new generation of enthusiasm. Please visit our websites to learn more or to make a donation. With your generous assistance, we will be able to make this celebration a truly memorable occasion. Feeling. Oh, joy, what a feeling. Feeling.